Hello, Red here bringing you part 12 of the Byzantine Empire. And space is actually not purple but red this time. So, let's lift off. We are basically, we took over these two planets from this war. The Juvian, great Juvian Dominion, or, is left to one planet left, and they have the allies of the Eoclac Interstellar, Interstellar Collective. So, as powerful as these guys think they are, I doubt they are too powerful enough. Though, um, we do want to maybe improve relationships with them. Though, um... Perhaps after our truce we can do something a bit more together. Oh well, though. Planet-wise, though, since we have this other species here, it would be nice to um, expand the empire. Perhaps these people here, though um, they're not too happy at the moment. I know that um, recently conquered would definitely go away over time. And their happiness would be at 45%. Only on this planet though. could remove robots, that's a possibility. It may just do that, just in case if they, um... Just in case we need to really make them happy on our planet. Hey, well, though. We do have a few uh, armies here to make sure that they are happy, just in case. But one thing we need to do is take over a few quests that we have. And one of these quests do involve taking out the cultist shipyard. So let's go do that first, improve our naval capacity a little bit. And also finish off our other quest, which is to have alien species on our home planet of Constantinople. And our leader died. Mysterious Alexis the Six has died at the age of 65. So let's see. Construction complete. Government wise, we have a new leader, Alexander the Sixth, with no heir. We actually have possibility of getting a succession war. A new on explore Special and complete. building costs is down. And after extensive search on the seabed of Delta Pavonis, IA, using a small fleet of mini submarines, the crew of the Azuri finally managed to corner the elusive target of the search, a knife Tom Black. The shimmering creature, which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals that produces a sense of dread in most organics, was brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. The crew members of the Azuri that came into direct contact with the Tom Black require extensive therapy, but the mission has been a success. Wasn't that lovely? Also, we do have a new air. Deputy Overlord Leon the Sixth. Hope you're good, you're champion of the people, plus in happiness and expansionist. That's not that bad. All the specimens have been asked by the Museum of Exobiology have been secured. The museum has grown to a massive facility where artificial gravity generators and atmosphere pressures are used to stimulate environments of over a dozen worlds. Visitors are journeying, journeying from all across Byzantine Empire to see its wonders. Very good. Lots of good stuff there. <clears throat> and you, you suddenly do. Complete. So I think I'll send our science ship here to actually save that system and just move around. Try and get as much as you can. Deputy Overlord. Overlord. What's your name there? Hmm. Let's see, our army's arrived here. 
this section. Looks like they're going to go engage us, even though they only have 298 firepower. So they're probably going to be easily taken care of. Battleship Path of the Pilgrim. Uh, good luck with that. We'll just wait for you to come to us. Hostile fleet engaged. Construction complete. There we go, let's go find the cultist fleet. But that battleship is really doing a lot of damage to us. Should be fine. Might lose one or two ships. That's one destroy here. Might be lost. An Adirius civilization encountered. Primitive civilization on Lugna Kum, that appears to be the late stage of the Bronze Age. They mastered early metalworking. Seven large city states have been formed. Might do something with um, primitive civilizations there. Situation log updated. In the meantime, though, let's just take care of that battleship there. We'll come back, destroy that military station there, and see what we can do. And also, you. You can do something do. There's a lot you can do. Put the power hub there. And we'll work on improving this planet quite a bit. System survey complete. Want to make sure these people are a bit happy before the sign go and revolt all that nasty stuff. So we work on this expansion project for you. And our leader died. So you need something to do, actually. Good thing we have our exile. You're going to do stuff. So there you go. I'm actually losing money now. I think we have plenty enough of energy credits for the moment. Don't really need it anymore. So you may actually have to build a few more armies. So one more defense army here. Research one complete. more here too. And we actually finished our rail guns. So the latest electromagnetic acceler accelerators. Rail guns use twin parallel rails to fire. Protect our incredible speeds. Oh! We yeah, have a lot of good options here. We can build nuclear missiles if you really wanted to. Or Bethathian power plants. I think we should go for advanced spaceport. Getting that extra spaceport level would definitely be useful. Looks like Constantinople's not doing anything either. And you can be upgraded. So, um, how much input are you making? 29 energy credits. Very good. We might consider expanding our empire quite a bit. Perhaps going to this continental world here might definitely be useful. Or picking a tundra world of one of our alien species here might be useful too. This 24 continental world definitely is something. I would want those too close to really do much with it. I could try and expand here. That's always another option. And the first Legio do need to upgrade the, the fleet. Let's see. Definitely upgrading there. And we're actually a few months away from upgrading these too getting these two. So before we send our ships up and away, definitely get all technology for us. Research complete. And the Red Shard Throwers, which is a crystalline entity storm 
cellular radiation within the prismatic bodies that can focus on and emit laser like beams. Using the Ruby's Times prismatic pattern as a base, we can conduct laser capabilities that produce energy similar to a wavelength. And we can get new technology too. Hmm. Can use science ships to improve things. Or we can get a solid power network. Though, um, I don't get that actually. Combat roles definitely be useful for ships and for soldiers. Let's see what our ship designs look like now. So far on destroyers, I'm definitely getting some red shot throwers there and some improved real guns. Definitely be good. Construction complete. We have a faction growing, as expected. They didn't like the fact that um, we took them over. But oh well, it's not they can do too much. One thing I'd like to do though. Construction complete. I'd like to um, prove all these ships. Two months away from doing that. So let's have a on, on minerals. And then once it's time, we'll get this too. Oh, and radical members of the Juvian homelanders have ruined the building on the planet of Fusho's Rast. What did you ruin? Oh. We'll improve it once we can. Do you need to focus on our navy first? Research complete. And there we go. We have regenerative hull tissue, a geni uh, genetically altered version of the silicon-based bacteria competition to be manipulated to regenerate non-organic materials. Ooh, we have so many good options. A galactic administration. We can upgrade our government form. Let's go do that. And also, um, how much is it going to cost to... Ooh. 4 or 5. System survey complete. They're actually only upgrading your ships right now. With everything new. I think it's just mine. But our um, destroyers now have lots of good material here. There you go. I don't know if you. Oh, you need to pay your stuff. Anomaly found. Hey, more anomalies to find. Need something to do. Definitely need more minerals. So you can do that. And the science ship over here. Go survey the system there. In the immense fragment plains of the shattered drift across Dietrich's vast face. They have a, a cast not on by clouds but a sheet of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed, and allows for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Daniela Romero is the and willing to say whenever whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose of any of the elaborate shadow casting might serve. Hmm. I'll make sure research there. We 
to build a second construction ship if we have lots of minerals coming in. You guys actually need to improve your stuff. Construction complete. I'd love to replace you at least. Which food all making? None. Definitely going to replace you. Also, the Star Hunters look like they're quite powerful here. Just waiting for next fight. Ships upgraded. Construction so, complete. Quite System a bit menacing. Complete. Then now our first Legio is quietly improved. So we can go finish off this quest for the called the Shipyard. Try and go gauge them. Try to finish off the quarters for once. I know the multi like religion is very promising, but we moved on past that. Also, a cursory scan on Delirious II A yields surprising results. Research complete. Something seems to be scanning us back. And basic combat rules have now been improved, which now we can get Power Plant 3, Research Speed 10. Oh, or we can get. Advanced combat rules. Oh, there's so many good options. Dangerous technology. Evolving the intellect's advanced science not only as a subject of study but as researchers themselves. This is dangerous technology. I think since we haven't engaged any other other alien species that really want to go kill us, so I think we'll go for this one here. Sentient AI. You know what can go wrong? We only have a robot. I mean, he's not going to do too much. Hopefully. Construction complete. So let's clear some volcanoes here. Very expensive. It is important to make sure planet is fully colonized. Hostile fleet engaged. Also, our Legio is now engaged with the enemy. Let's see how they do. There's some red shard throwers. And there's a ship idling on the plains of Delaris Second A with sensors reacting to the Azor in orbit around the planet. The Azorfri's crew have been unable to confirm exactly whether the craft was abandoned or fought abandoned. Abandoned or who left it there or where they are now. Calling the signs. Officer Daniel Romero, only activating the lightly armed ship would be trivial, should we wish to add it to our fleets. And we get a Corvette. A greased lightning. Let's take a look at that. In a minute, also, Starbase is really hurting our ships, aren't they? System survey complete. Not very nice. Though we are slowing, slowly improving our whole points. Let's go bring the Grease Lightning in. Also, we lost our ship. You're very annoying. Though, um, still our red shards at you. Some damage on it. Not without consequence, though. And the fence are packed with the um, Dominion and Collective. Hostile fleet engaged. See, and the star base has now been nearly destroyed. Situation. There we go. Updated. We're gonna improve. 
The alien shipyard that was used by the Byzantine Empire and the crusade against us has been destroyed. Some of the cultists were captured with their escape pods, picked by forces, including the chief engineer. His knowledge of the shipyard's advanced technology has proved to be quite valuable. Unfortunately, they also learned that the cult's charismatic leader departed the shipyard several weeks ago on her new flagship, a more powerful variant of the alien ships they produced. Military intelligence is working on pinpointing location of this vessel. Oh, this doesn't. Just lovely. Also, um. Go repair. Go, um. Not with the grease lightning there. Oh. There we go. Go research this. System survey complete. Construction ship needs something to do. Perhaps go get more minerals. I think with that though, I need to call my part here. So I'll see you next part when we continue to expand. Look at our enemies towards our right, see them expand, and try to take them out in the next war. So I'll see you then, and goodbye.